Jaya Ham. We are talking about conscious uncoupling, and the topic for this specific video is activate your personal power. <clears throat> you know, I come from a background of professional coaching, spiritual training, and uh, a big part of what I've been doing over the last uh, 14 years since 2002 is helping men and women transition and get the power back when they are in the breakup zone. I wrote a program which is called How to Get Your Power Back After She Breaks Up. And another one for women, which is how to get your power back after he breaks up, in which I describe ways of reclaiming your life and getting your life back after a breakup or divorce. And so the idea here is very, very simple and very powerful. It is the conscious uncoupling involves dynamics of how to relate to your ex, you know, how to connect with your ex, how to design new agreements, new boundaries together. All that has to do with uh, creating a new vehicle, which is the evolution of uh, your past relationship into the new vehicle or new ways of relating to your, your, your ex um, with new mindsets, new values, new boundaries. So that's one aspect. Another aspect, which is very important, is you. How do you position yourself? How do you reclaim your power as an individual? Because, <clears throat> you know, when you are in a couple, what happens is that the two people become your energetic or emotional base. And so in that relating to your partner, this is where you build up lots of energy and lots of power. This is where you receive love. This is where you receive connection, uh, where you receive uh, intimacy, you know, all these things. So this happens within, you create uh, a couple vehicles. So when you transition to being single again or being just by yourself, what happens is that you are going to learn how to recreate balance and power by yourself. And uh, of course, you know, a social circle might come in, other potential lovers might emerge into this field, but reclaiming your power and finding back your base is one of the essential elements to, uh, to go back to the core of your existence. And the way to do that are very simple. There are a few things that you have to keep in mind. The first one is stay healthy, stay in your center, stay in your core. You know, um, if you stop eating healthy, if you stop moving your body or training in any way, uh, you know, you're not going to bring energy into your system. So moving your body, doing some form of exercise, eating healthy is really important. Another one is if you are engaged into professional activity, you know, sustain that, sustain your work. Now, when you're transitioning, when you are moving out of a relationship, now is not the right time to lose your job and uh, have that added to the, the, the trouble. Another important element is don't isolate yourself. Keep on socializing, keep on connecting with people. And in the process of connecting with people, try to keep um, X you know, conversations to the minimum. Every time you bring up a conversation about your ex-partner or ex-lover, you know, what it's going to do is that it's going to bring back the wounds. It's going to activate the cracks, the places where it hurts. And uh, you are going to build up a story. Sometimes that story is not really interesting to other people. After a while, they get bored and tired of hearing that. So I would say that in the beginning, you know, sharing some things with either a coach or a therapist or uh, a set of very close friends, that can be useful and, and healing. But after a while, you know, try to move into just recentering the conversations on you, on who you are you know, when it comes to social networks. If you try to do the conscious uncoupling thing without having your power, without having a center, without being in your truth, in your, in your highest possible frequency, then it's going to be more difficult because you are looking for resources, you're looking for energy. And so this part of uh, mastering your inner game and going back to your center is very important. Another aspect that is really you know, important as well in reclaiming your power is to witness, be a witness to your emotions, to what's happening on an emotional level and on the mind level. What are the stories that you're telling yourself? You know, fuck, I was a loser or I missed that opportunity or um, it was a mistake to have a relationship with that person in the first place or, you know, a lot of these conversations that you can have are victimization conversations. They are not really interesting and empowering to you. What you want to do is more like Gratitude conversations. Wow, I'm so thankful. I'm so grateful to have had the opportunity to share time with that person. I love the experience. Yes, it was challenging. Yes, we had shadows there playing in the field, but I'm really grateful for the experience.
you see how empowering it is to talk from that perspective it feels like a fresh wind of energy where you're like embracing the experience rather than rejecting it or feeling like it was a mistake to have it in the first place yeah all that is part part of recentering and re-anchoring your power <laughs>